Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and You Are Here to Paint. And I have a very special guest. This is... Hope. Hope, and how old are you? Eight. Eight, and what's your favorite color? Ooh. Pink. Ooh. Pink? We can make a pink mug if you want. So we're gonna be painting a chocolate, hot chocolate mug, because it's oh. that time of season. And we're gonna get cozy together. So, what I want you to do is I want you to grab your paper out and I taped mine. We taped ours together so then that doesn't move very much. We have our paint brushes, we have our water and our palette in our different colors. Now the colors we're using today are red and we can hope, or you can use red to make pink. And then we have a yellow. If you wanna make a green, we're gonna use this cool space blue to make all these cool different explosions for the background. And then sepia, which is gonna be for our wood table. Now the other thing I want you to grab is a pencil because you will notice this is blank, so we're gonna be drawing. And then we have our different tape. So if you have our box, we have our two different tapes that it came with, so you can use either one. Or if you don't have that, you can use your other tape. So what we'll do is we're gonna make a design on our mug because we are creative. So. The first thing is, is let's start with our motto. See if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am, and I am creative. creative. <laughs> let's do this. <gasps> Boom. And then, oh, do you want to introduce who else is here? So we have Hope's family. Go and come say hi. Ooh. <laughs> yep, watch your So we have step. her You're brother, okay, Newell. Hello. <laughs> He's been hanging out with Keenan. <laughs> and you might recognize Anne because she did our tree painting with us. Nice. So they came to visit and paint along with us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. So the first step is, is grab your pencil and we're going to draw. Oh, I brought a prop too to help us see. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top. So I don't know how best. Let's see. Hmm. You and also have the, the side cam. Okay, I think the top helps actually. Okay, yeah, there you go. So, do you see when we're looking at this, how we have this oval shaped right here, which is the inside of the mug? So that is what we are going to draw first. Let me put that in the middle of us. So first, anywhere you want, you're gonna draw the top of your mug, and you can do a really skinny tall one. So if you wanna do a tall one, draw it taller. If you wanna do a wider one, do it more in the middle. But you're gonna draw mm. a big oval, so it's like laying flat, nice. And then I want you to draw one more. So either on the inside or the outside you can pick, but I want you to draw one more parallel, which means that they're pretty close. So that kind of looks like a race car track or a pool. Yeah. Okay, next step is, is we're gonna draw the sides of our mug. So you're gonna draw two lines at the very ends of your ovals, you're gonna draw it down for however tall you want your mug to be. Boom. Now connect the bottom with the smiley face. And then the next step is, is you're gonna draw the handle part. So some handles are really big, some are really small, but you're gonna draw one curve coming out and then another curve. So start with the first one. I kind of ran out of room, so I'm going to draw a small one. It's just angled away. Yeah. It's at an angle. Nice. So one. Have you ever tried to make your own mug? No. Or like plate pottery? or dish? Yeah, pottery. That'd be fun. I remember as a kid, one year for, my, my, for Christmas, my family did this thing where we went, I think it was to the local high school. Cool, and you did that? Yeah, we tried to make our own plates. Wow. It was neat. Fancy. I was really not good at it. <laughs> okay. The next one is, well, we're making our own on our drawing. So the next one is, do you want to add a candy cane to yours? You don't have to. If you want to, what you're going to do is the candy cane is, actually, I can use this as an example. So Ooh, if nice. you see from the top, do you see how we don't see the bottom eraser? Mm -hmm. So it's starting right here. So we're gonna do the same thing as we're gonna start here at the bottom of our oval and then draw up. So at the bottom, or the, not the very bottom because it's this inside lip, yep. So you're gonna go up, 
however tall your candy cane is, and then you're gonna curve it one way or the other. So it kind of actually looks like the bottom of an umbrella. And then mm. you're going to do the same thing like we did and draw the other side, and then you connect it. Now, the trick is, is which part, so we want to have, because this is a solid part, so we're gonna erase these two lines right here. Oh, I need to give you my eraser. Oh, inside the candy cane? Yeah, so the inside the candy cane, so that way it looks like a solid candy cane. Oh. Nice. Okay, oh, this is your pencil. <laughs> okay, so now, we're done with our drawing. You did that. Nice. That was sweet. Okay, next step is, is let's get to painting. So grab your brush. Oh, the other thing, do you wanna add marshmallows in it? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yes. Okay, so add some marshmallows. So add some squares. Hope, do you like hot cocoa? Yeah. Okay, good. Yum, me too. Good, you can join the club. It's so. called the Hot Cocoa Club. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna use, we have both a small and a big brush. Let's grab the small one because we're gonna be painting a smaller area. And I'm gonna squeeze out some of our brown. And we're gonna paint that. So dip your brush in water, hit it off to the side so it's not too wet, the edge. And then you're gonna dip in. And then you're gonna paint around your marshmallows on the inside, so this is the chocolate part. And then you're gonna paint around your candy cane. What kind of posture inside. do you think you have to have when you drink hot cocoa? <laughs> so that you don't spill? Yeah, so you don't spill Sit or- Sit up straight. Or get your hair in the hot cocoa? <laughs> yeah. That would be awkward. <laughs> nice. I was just trying to think if you can change the color of hot cocoa. You mean like make a cider instead? Because you need a dark chocolate cocoa. You don't want, not a dark, you want, you need to be chocolate. That's true, yeah. I was just thinking if you could make a different Although color. Although my family has a beverage that we drink, it's called Wassel. Uh -huh. uh, it's delightful. If I knew what was in it, I would tell you right now. <laughs> But I can't. I don't what know what it is. What color was it? It's orange. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I was gonna say. If they, if you don't like hot chocolate, you can make it a different juice inside. You can still be part of the club, though. <laughs> what about not chocolate chocolate? Yeah. What or is white chocolate. Like white chocolate? Yeah. Vanilla cocoa? Ooh. I don't know if that's allowed in the cocoa club. <laughs> we'll See, the cocoa special. club is exclu It's so exclusive. You may have never heard of it before. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna decorate our mug. So can you grab your, do you wanna use that tape or do you wanna use this tape? I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the edge, pick it up with your fingers, and you get to make any design. So on this one, I made a little kind of snowflake, but if you wanna do zigzags, mm. or if you wanna just do different dots, we can do that. So you're gonna put anywhere where you want, maybe I'll do a stripe. So you get to decorate and design your own mug. Sweet, okay. So we added our tape and then make sure it's really pressed down. So go over it with your finger and push. Then we get to decorate. What color do you want to make your mug? Or do you want to make it a bunch of colors? Here's an example of different colors. I want to make a purple. Purple one? Mm -hmm. Fun, okay. So we're gonna squeeze out the colors to make purple. So purple is red and blue together which we have a little bit ooh, of both. Can you mix that together for me? Here, give us some blue. So you can do a bunch of different colors. So yeah, mix that, that one, the purple. I think it'll be purple. Ooh, yeah. Do you like that color? Yeah. Yeah, 
Okay, so we're gonna use that. So if you wanna squeeze out any color that you want, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your brush, pick up the color like Hope did. Start with green. And you're gonna paint over it. So we have both the, do you see how the lip of this? So you're gonna paint this a color and then all of this. And you can make it different colors if you wanna make it, or you can do one color. We're gonna do the edge. So when you're doing this, you're gonna paint, and if you wanna to switch to your small brush, that might help. But you can also mix colors. So I wanna show you if you want to mix some blue in with your color. I'm just gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna make different colors. Oh, that purple's so good. I'm, can I borrow some of that? Okay, cool, thank you. My mug is always really dirty when I make hot cocoa. Why? I just get cocoa everywhere. <laughs> sometimes it's powder, sometimes it's... Sometimes mm, I reuse powder. the same mug two to three times a day for cocoa. Oh. And it just gets dirty. Uh-huh. So maybe the colors could be that. A dirty mug? A dirty mug. <laughs> but you can't go wrong with putting that candy cane in there. I approve. Ooh, yeah. So the candy cane, we're gonna do the candy cane last because it's gonna be kind of wet if I were to do it. Mm, so I'm gonna wait. And then when you are doing your mug, you're gonna paint over the tape. So the tape, what we're doing is it's resisting and we're not painting in that spot and then it'll be white once we remove it. Okay, so we let ours fully dry. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our table, because right now it kind of looks like our cup is floating in space. So I have a trick. If you grab your pencil, somewhere along yours, you can do it anywhere, is imagine where your table would be. So when you're doing that, I want you to draw a line across somewhere, and then I want you to go pretend, pretend, don't touch, don't touch, and then when you get there, draw a line across. Yeah. So that way, you just added a table. Nice. Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, let's start with the top. So I want you to use your imagination and is it, what time of day is it? Is it sunny outside? So would it be a light blue color? Is it dark? And you want it to be like it's snowing? What are you thinking for your painting? Light. It's yeah. light outside? Okay, so do you wanna make a light blue? Yeah. Yes, okay. I have an idea. Yeah. What if, since in our club, we sit next to a fireplace. Oh, you can draw a fireplace? The background could be the fireplace or yellow, like a nice soft glow of yellow. That'd be cool. You know, it's warm, mm -hmm. it's comfortable. I can do that. Be a little crazy when your house is burning down. That could be, that could be. <laughs> Awkward, I mean, the, hot cocoa's comforting. Okay. Be a little warm, but not well, too bad. Well, yeah, yeah. Hope for you. So what we did was I added a lot of water to yours to make that light color. So you can go ahead and paint that. If you wanna make any other colors that are light, go ahead. You can use that to paint your background. I'll try Kenan's idea of using yellow around like, uh, it. Yeah, like soft glow. yellow or uh, orange. Okay. So when you're doing this, the nice thing about sitting by fires, sorry to interrupt, is your posture doesn't have to be very good. Great. I thought posture was everything. But posture <laughs> is important. So we're gonna paint, ooh, this is like a highlighter color. I'm gonna make some orange. So if you wanna make orange, orange is red and yellow mixed together. Ooh, kinda mix it around. Oh, I like that light color. I guess you can drink hot cocoa at any time of day. Oh yeah. Nice, so does it get darker as we go across? Is that what you're thinking? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the edges would be a darker and maybe the middle would be a little more orange, less, less yellow. Oh, okay, okay. Just making a rainbow painting over here. Yeah, all kinds of colors. So this is so fun that you can make any painting your own. You, I want you to use your creativity because you are an artist. Hope that looks awesome. So more orange. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, if you want to do this fun technique, we haven't done this in a while, but if you have ever heard us talk about color explosions or water explosions, that would be really fun. So what it is, is when the paint is wet, I'm gonna go in and maybe I'll do some orange and red color explosions. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna drop in color. Ooh. Ooh, maybe that'll look, I'll try and make it look like flames in the background. Yeah. So because it's wet already, it blends and bleeds into the wet color. Ooh, that looks cool. So you can also do some water explosion. So I'm gonna add some just water drops. So you get to be creative, however you want yours to look. But that's how we made, if you want snow drops, kind of in the background, I just use that with water. Ooh, this became a very vibrant painting. Yeah, it did. <laughs> We support vibrant paintings here. Nice. Especially during the holidays. Wonderful hope. Don't forget how messy that mug's been. Maybe there's a splash on your table. Mm -hmm. Or when you drop it on your table. Uh-huh. Big. That's what the explosion is. That oh. could be. <laughs> oh, you... yes! Look nice hope. Whoa. Isn't that magic? <laughs> so fun. Okay. When you are done with your background, you get to pick what color table it's on. What color would you like your table to be on? Or table to be? Pink? Ooh, Ooh I love that idea. So, we have, I'll make you some pink. So we have her, actually I'm just going to add some water here. So I'm going to add water because the magic trick is color plus water makes a lighter color. Do you want it even lighter than that? That's fair enough. That's good? Okay. So you can use that to paint your bottom. So pick a color. I'm going to make mine, I'm going to try and make mine look like wood. So I'm going to use brown. Now, so here's the same thing is we're going to do this wet on wet technique. So I want you to paint the whole thing. Oh yeah, that's, there's cocoa on that table for sure. <laughs> It'll blend in, that's why I chose brown. That's a lot of hot chocolate to spill. <laughs> you could manage that pretty quickly though with your Oh yeah, mug. no problem with my mug. <laughs> now, if you wanna try, you can do the same, you can do the same color or water explosions if you wanna add some of that. Like if there was a spill on your table, you can really make it look like a spill. If you want, I'm going to use some dark brown and I'm going to draw some circles. You know, like in wood, how they have some circles or they have some lines. Mm -hmm. You can add some patterns to yours if you want to add a different color. And I'll give you if you want some darker pink. Yeah, see what that does. Fun! Ooh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh I like that, Hope. Yes. Oh, it's kind of like your shirt. Wow. I pa love patterned. that. Yeah. A checkered pattern. So you get to decorate that. Maybe it's your hot cocoa club tablecloth. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Custom. I love that idea. T-shirts are coming next. Watch Boom. Out. Okay, our last thing is, what color is your candy cane? And then be yellow. Yellow. Okay, Ooh. so you got yellow right there. Yeah, some candy canes are so different, so many different colors. It's your custom club candy cane. Hershey so, sent them to you as a gift. So I've seen candy canes actually that are all one color. Ooh, good call. I'm gonna switch to my smaller brush. 
all one color or if you want to make them striped what you're going to do is you're going to leave a little bit of white space in between each time you add a stripe then our marshmallows are white so we're good there so we're ready for the big reveal so just know this is kind of wet so maybe come from the side or just on top and i want you to remove your tape oh beautiful oh so you can leave your tape if you want or you can remove it i did i don't know if you noticed i did an n for my first name because my first name's nicole what <laughs> yeah nice so fun i love that i love the ruffles at the edge yeah, yeah. on her tape mm -hmm. that's beautiful kind of like when keenan chips his mug by setting it down <laughs> the table. listen sometimes an aggressive <laughs> mug stance is required <laughs> That's in your and club you policy. It is. It's in the book. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. So you can see. I want to take a moment to look. Do you see all those cool explosions that happened? Yeah. Watercolors is so fun. And I see your pattern. And I just want you to know that each of ours is so unique and different. And that's what I love painting. So thank you for painting with me. Thank you for painting with us. This was so much fun. We want to see what you made so you can tell us all about your mug. And then you can join Keenan and Newell's Hot Chocolate Club. It's exclusive. You'll love it. <laughs> so share with us. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. An Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And thank you all for painting with us. Bye.